morning everybody it is baby shower day i've just dragged Cass out of bed because even though he's not involved today i don't know if i mentioned this but baby shower is strictly girls today so it's just all females no boys allowed but he is by all means allowed to help me set up so i just woke him up and i was like come on we've got to go to the venue and drop loads of stuff so we've just bagged everything up there's a lot <laughs> i'm just thinking it's best to drop it there so I know it's there and then I can come home and get ready because I don't live far. Um, I live about a four minute walk but I am going to be driving the stuff over there because it's heavy. Then come back, do my makeup. I have curled my hair. I've not curled my hair in so long so I don't know if I'm loving it. And these little flicky bits. Ugh. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I don't know why I didn't just blow dry brush it like I always do but we'll have to make it work. And then yeah, sort out this face. When I get back and the balloons are currently being set up. Well, I think, <laughs> but I'm gonna figure all that out when I go over there and see if I can get some behind the scenes stuff. If not, welcome to the baby shower vlog. I hope this goes well. I always forget on days like this to actually vlog, but I'm gonna take my camera and hope people just pick it up. Kelsey's always really good at that. And I did text my balloon girl, Megan, just now and just said, prop your phone up. Do a little time lapse if you don't mind but i don't know if she started and if she's seen that message so we'll see but let's head to the venue now and i will show you what's going on i keep on thinking back on it when we escaped with our first real paycheck wasn't much but we needed less yeah then we do now we were driving along the coast i felt the ocean breeze on my Wanted to go as far as we ever could So many years have passed But even though about my eyes so <laughs> <laughs> no one look <laughs> Everyone's coming 
apparently very quiet because we've got a lot of quizzes going on. So what we've gone through so far is oh that was funny. <laughs> no, beer or funny baby, baby. And, and this then is actually just the best thing ever. This is look how wrong I got it by the way, guys. Just take a look. Lust or labour? Good. So I know my bum. Good work. And now they're giving me some advice. I'm trying. Advice for a new mum, and then they were filling out the. Who just gave up straight away? <laughs> mum and. Whereas I literally mom. went for it. And I've, I've got no idea. I've got no idea, and I was like, I'm just going to win it. Yeah, they're more personal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to. Not that I'm not excited to read yours, but I'm excited to read advice from mums. Yeah. She's still going. There's another bullet point. Yeah, you carry on. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, we've just worked out. Next time I see Ash, weird. Baby girl's gonna be here. She's probably gonna be not. Here. Depends if you want to leave the house. Yeah, I mean, you probably will still be pregnant. No, but I'm saying, like, depends if we see each other. I know. No, I'll still be pregnant. You have. Yeah. But we might. I don't know, it depends. So you... I think you'll see me okay. before you pop. Yeah. I want to see, like, see you when you you're ready. ready. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> Hi guys, it's a couple of days later now. Let me just put my Lucas head on the side. I am gonna go through the bits that I got for my baby shower. Some very, very, very generous gifts from my friends and family. I've been through them very, very briefly. <laughs> and the reason that they're all in the cot is because when I went through them, I had them all laid out, and then I remembered the next morning I had a company coming in to deep clean my carpets so they needed to just be off the floor the cot was the best bet so they are in here in no particular order and I'm gonna try and fly through this because there is so much I am so beyond grateful but I put on my Instagram would you guys like to see what I got and a lot of people messaged me and said that they thought it would be a great idea to help inspire them if they've got a baby shower coming up or if they're an expecting mother and there's things that they're like oh I didn't realize I needed that because there's some really good things here so without further ado we're gonna do a baby shower haul I have a couple of disclaimers before we start please excuse how out of breath I am and also I am working with natural daylight so I hope the light doesn't change too much but it seems really silly for me to get my lighting out because it's such a gorgeous day today. Spring is well and truly springing at the moment. Well, it's on its way and I'm here for it. So we're gonna work with the natural daylight. I am not the focus here. The beautiful gifts are, so let's go through. Like I said, none of this is in any particular order and you probably haven't heard of most of these people but I'm gonna thank them anyway. This is the only one I didn't take out the bag because I just wanted you to see how exquisite this is it's like a little hamper from my friends emmy and demi honestly you'll probably hear me say about a million times how grateful i am but i can't believe how amazing my friends are anyway they've made me this gorgeous newborn hamper which to be honest i could take out now so here's an up close of what they got me this is such a great idea by the way if you are going to a baby shower i wish i'd thought of this before but this literally has cotton pads, toys, a blanket, uh, some baby grows, some Johnson's shower, baby bath thing, some baby oil, honestly everything you could ever need. Oh my god I've actually just realised there's loads of stuff at the bottom as well. So it's literally just a hamper of everything you could need, nappy sacks, there's earbuds at the bottom, there's more wipes and then look how cute this bib set is look at this back one how cute where is this from f and f oh my god that is amazing i'm not going to take everything out because like i said we've got to get through everyone's gifts but big thank you emmy and demi i'm obsessed with you next up i've left everyone's cards in this is from aisha and jack and i've got really cute little sets from mamas and papas here how cute is that i think i'm gonna take this to the hospital it says welcome to the world with little mitts with little floral design on i have a little nipple balm and then a little set i can always trust 
Asher and Zelia to get the cutest little clothes because obviously they've got little girls. So got a little white cute ribbed set which honestly breaks my heart. It's so cute. So thank you so much to Asher and Jack. Next up, we have my friend Tyra. She got, she actually asked me specifically if there's anything that I had on a list, which is a really good idea as well. If you're going to a baby shower, just ask the mum if there's anything in particular that she wants. And I said I was eyeing up these little swaddle things because I've had their, obviously easier than doing your own manual swaddle. And obviously their arms are enclosed and they look like a little starfish. I've heard great things, by all means, Please use this video to comment down below again if you have got on really well with these things. I am open to criticism as well and let me know if things aren't recommended. But I did look into these and I've heard good things. So big thank you to Tyra for this. Next up we have my nanny. She honestly buys me stuff like every week, I'll be honest, and the baby. But this one's for me. So obviously... Some of you will be like, this is also obvious said, but honestly, till I went to a baby shower, I wasn't actually that clued up, but you can either go down buying stuff for the baby or you can buy stuff for the mum because sometimes people say like the mum gets forgotten about a little bit or you can do both. I have, I think the odd thing in here for me, but my nan's focused on me because she's been buying so much for the baby. She knows how much I love the smell of like citrus and lemon at the moment. So I have this really nice candle, which, oh my goodness, smells so good. If you can find this, I'm pretty sure it's from B&M. It smells so good. It is a joke. And then, she's so cute. She knows me so well. I have two vouchers to go and get pregnancy massages. Not one, but two. I'm going to get two pregnancy massages very soon. And that is literally my dream kind of present. So thank you, Nan. Honestly, you know me best. Next up, this bag of goodies is from my friends, Hannah and Sophia. Starting off with this really cute little toy. How gorgeous is that? I absolutely love that. And then we have a little, let me put the bag down. Then we've got this little blue dress, which has little matching pants to go underneath so cute perfect for summer and this height chart which you can stick on the wall and you can fill out the ages and the milestones which is very cute so my baby shower book that i left out on the side which by the way best idea ever i know it's i've not come up with it but put a guest book out at your baby shower because everyone can write notes to you and the baby and i read for it the other night and it honestly was making me cry the messages are so sweet and I can't wait to read them to the baby when, well, when she can understand. But the book was from this exact company on Etsy called Bambino. And they got me this frame, which will look so cute in the nursery, which we're in. And you can put a photo of the baby. And then this bit at the bottom says space for baby's hospital bracelet, which personally for me is such an important thing because it's one of the only ways we all know what time and what weight myself and my brother wear because obviously my mum's not here anymore but we still have our hospital bands and the reason I'm saying that's the only reason we'd know is because my nan bless her I'm sure at one point she remembered but she has her own kids we're her grandkids and she's got other grandkids so it's a lot for her to remember so if it wasn't for our hospital bands we wouldn't actually know what time we were born and what weight we were and we've still got ours and I think it's really cute to have it put in a frame like this. This bag, it's like a Mary Poppins bag, it never ends. <laughs> oh my goodness, her first converse. I can't cope, how cute. I know obviously she won't be in shoes for a really, really long time, but still so cute to just have out and have in her wardrobe. I'm literally obsessed. I cannot wait. Well, I can. I don't want to wish time away, but how cute. And then there's this little box, which again, so cute for the nursery. Baby special keepsakes. Just them little things that you want to keep. First lock of hair. I know some people keep the 
umbilical cord and stuff like that and they can all go in here and be safe and sound and then finally this little book which i had this on my list of things to get i've got like my pregnancy journal and stuff like that but this is a cherish special moments with your baby keepsake journal of all the milestones and moments and it literally starts from first day in the hospital first drawing first words family tree all about the birth first christmas just all little things that you can keep in one place which like i said i was planning to get anyway so thank you so much to hannah and sophia next up we have zelia and ben got this little mamas and papas baby grove with a matching little hat and then zelia kept saying to me you need to get a cardigan for the hospital so this is a little gray newborn cardigan just to take in case it is a little bit chilly well they should be warm anyway so i might have my hospital cardigan here so thank you so much zel and ben then we have georgia georgia actually got something for mama she knows me too well so this is a set from the white company this is the spa restore wellness basket which i actually went to use last night but i was like no you haven't filmed the video yet so hold your horses it's just one of their little pamper sets which just smells like the spa i know it sounds really silly because it's literally the spa collection but there's a little candle in here we've got some body wash a little scrub brush and another body bath balm so mama's got some treats too thank you so much g i love you so some of you might have seen this online already if you follow liv but she couldn't come to the baby shower because she lives a million miles away she lives in the isle of Wight. And she's just so busy at the moment. She's got children and it was just way too much for her to come over, which I always invite Liv to these things, but I never expect her to come because honestly, with two children, I wouldn't travel that far. But she's the most thoughtful person ever. And she's one of my best friends and she sent me some goodies in the post. So these are all from Next. I've got some muslins which have the cutest designs and i'm really into this colorful little shapes at the moment i actually just got some baby grows from sainsbury's that are like this i've got three big muslins there she got me about a gazillion baby grows and she said that these are her favorite i've heard good things about the next baby grows because they just wash really well they've always got the little turnover mitts because apparently babies just lose their mittens the feet so they don't lose socks so i've got a big bunch of them and then i've got some little hats a little three pack these will be handy to take to the hospital and then she said these socks she has so many of them for sophia her little girl so she said she had to get me some of them as well so thank you Liv and connor i love you and i can't wait to see you soon Whew. next up we have my friends Madison and Evan, her boyfriend. This again is like a little practical hamper, which I love. We've got a little blanket. There's a basket, which I actually had on my list. I want these just dotted around the house with necessities. And it's a bit like having a nappy caddy, I guess. And you can just put wipes, nappies, creams. Got some baby sponges some pseudo cream never have enough of that and then some baby products so a baby wash and a nighttime baby lotion so thank you mad i love you I'm nearly there guys hang in there so obviously at baby showers you're bound to have the other thing that's repeated to be honest i didn't have that many but as you would have just seen i have got one of these but it's fine they say it's good to have more than one of teddy's because if the baby likes it and they end up losing it we've got another one of these by the way this is from simone tass's sister and then this was on my list so again really good idea if you want to do a list this is the mum cozy smart white noise machine this does 34 kinds of sounds it's app controlled it's got a wake up function toddler lock and a support custom scenario so you can change the light in 
do all the noises. I know babies love white noise and this can be my one that just stays at home. I'm gonna get another one that's like on the go with the buggy. To get teddies with white noise coming out of them because I just heard it's like the best thing ever. So thank you very much, Simone. Next up, we have Abby and Joshua. So we've got, this is really cute. I didn't actually realize this until after, but it's a teddy, but it's a backpack teddy. How cute. <laughs> there's a little zip at the back and then there's straps for the toddler or baby to put on their back. I mean, I doubt she'll have this on her back for a while, but the thought is there and it's still very, very cute. A little pack of some neutral body suits. Abby knows me so well. This is very bougie. We've got a little Harrods baby cup, which is so cute. There's some cute little booties. How adorable are they? Little play suit summer and then this is a cute little set as well which comes with little leggings thank you abby and josh next we've got kelsey cass's sister so she asked me specifically what i wanted i've heard great things about the hacker silicone breast pumps and she thought head she said she took a while to choose because she wanted to find one with a lid which i would have never thought of but in case you don't know what hacker is it's supposed to be really good when you're breastfeeding because the boob that's not being used also is letting out milk so this collects the fallout does that make sense so i really really wanted these i've had great things like i said and then also she got me a fan for the hospital because it's just one of the things that's on my list i really really wanted a fan i'm a hot and sweaty gal so Thank you, Kels. Very practical. This next bag of goodies is from Cass's mum, Debbie, and his dad, of course. We've got a little blanket that says, so very loved. So cute. A mirror for the car, which was on my list. It looks blurry because it's got some film on it. But we've got our car seat ready, so we needed a mirror, just so we can see the baby. A little bath towel. A couple of cute little outfits, which I'm pretty sure are from FNF. So cute. And then some little toys, which we'll probably just leave on the side for a little while because, to be honest, I guess you can play with. Oh no, it says OnePlus. So they're there for future use. They also got us a teddy, which is gorgeous. I'm not going to show it because. It is personalised with the baby's name on. But I think that might be the... I mean, I say that. There's so many teddies we've got. But I have a feeling that might be the teddy that ends up being her teddy. You know, when you've got like a teddy grab... I mean, I could be wrong. It's completely up to the baby. She'll probably show us which one she likes the most. But I just keep grabbing it. But this teddy is gorgeous and like i said it's got her name on it it's very cute so thank you to cass's parents this next gift is from my auntie Teresa. another cute little teddy this little set i love this color so much you can't go wrong with a little ribbed legging and top set i think that's so cute and then she's got a little matching coat to go with it i hope there's a bit of mixture with the weather when she's born because otherwise this won't fit her because it's up to three months and obviously she's when she's three months it'll be summertime but i'm sure we'll get some use out of it but absolutely love this color so thank you very much Teresa. this gift is from one of my oldest friends amy she's very cute this is very my vibe got this cute little elephant it's got a little tiny rattle in it which is so cute but it screams i'm gonna get lost because that is so tiny <laughs> and then this little jumpsuit baby grow is so cute and she's very practical she's got it for nine to twelve months so she probably knew i was going to get loads of really tiny stuff so this will be worn around well up until this time next year really but it's just the most gorgeous set i think it's from mama's oh no little white company how cute is that i am literally obsessed with that so thank you amy i love you and then i'm pretty sure this is the last one Unless I've missed anything, I'm pretty sure I threw everything in this cot. My nan did help me go through it all the other day so I could text everyone, thank you. So this last one is from Karen, my nan's best friend. And this stuff is very cute. 
so she got me this little book which is absolutely gorgeous they said they found oh it's a jelly cat book oh i didn't even know jelly cat done books but my nan got one of these for cass as well because she knew cass i knew he'd make this comment he was like no one got me anything for the baby shower. I was like, mm, you, was, you wasn't there. And also, it's about me and the baby. But my nan knew he'd say something like that. So he, well, still for the baby. But she got him a book from this collection that's called Me and My Daddy. And it's very cute. But this one's from Karen and it's so cute. And then I've got an actual little jelly cat, which is very cute. Some wipes because you can never have enough wipes apparently. Some little mitts from Sainsbury's. And then this set, which I think this is now the third colorway I've got in this set, which I'm so happy about because it is one of my favorite sets. It's from H&M. And I hear mums rave about these sets so much, especially Aisha talks about these H&M sets all the time. It's like a little bodysuit, leggings, and a little baby hat. How cute. And it's just the most beautiful muted rosy pink so that's what karen got me thank you karen and that is everything the mess i've made now is a little bit crazy that is everything i got sorry this section was probably really long but i did want to thank everyone and i love showing you guys what i've got so far for the baby and it also makes it clear for me things that i've definitely got enough of now and things that i still need let me know if there's still things screaming out that I haven't got yet because I'm pretty sure I've kept you posted on most things. In my next vlog, I'll mention the odd thing that I've bought myself recently because I have bought a few things that I've added to my list of must-haves. And that is all for today. Thank you to everyone that came to my baby shower and made the day so special. Along with my gender reveal is a day I will literally never, ever, ever forget. It was literally just how I pictured it and it was, well, it was better than I pictured. It was so, so good. And that is all for this video. It's probably going to be quite long, but I hope you enjoyed. Me and baby girl, we'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Have a good week.